and you're never really far from getting back to the caravan park from whichever river you're at. It's an amazing place because being right on the Goulburn, particularly when it's at high flow, it's perfect to put the boat in. They've got a boat ramp there. You can put that in and go up and down the river. It's also a great place to take the kids, you know, safe swimming in the pool during the summer times as well as playing on the, the jumping pillow. And for some of the big kids, they've got a great tennis court, basketball set up, and they've also got a games room. Plenty of powered sites and unpowered sites and places to take your caravan as well as the cabins which come in various sizes from uh, a couple up to like a family uh, suite, which has a lovely eating area, excellent cooking facilities, and you've got uh, a separate room for perhaps the kids and bunk beds, so you can fit like up to four kids in there, as well as the adults get the, uh, the big double bed, so it's ideal uh, for a family group. The units have their own bathroom for a bit of privacy with a lovely big shower. Uh, and I suppose just as important, it's got a lovely big flat screen so you can bring up your favourite DVDs and watch perhaps on the fly while you're waiting to uh, get out there and catch some more fish. But this is the best reason to come to this caravan park. This is where you can sit and watch these fish rise. Now the Breakaway Twin Rivers Caravan Park is perfect for this scenario. You fished all day, you need a bit of a spell, a bit of a bevy, you get some decent crackers and cheese and you can just sit here and wait for that evening rise to start. Have your rod at the ready because when those heads start popping up you're only literally a cast away from them. Now, if only the trout were as easy to catch as these ducks with a bit of bread. But the Goulburn River, particularly high flows, is renowned for its backwater it fishing. And fish, you've got to be very patient, but they'll sneak in there and you throw like a, a grasshopper or a cricket or a little spent spinner and you'd be surprised what you can get. Oh, nice. And that's perfect. And uh, I've been to this spot before and I reckon I've cast at this fish last time I was here. And trout are certainly territorial, so that's the one I would have been casting at. Beautiful little brown. And uh, the Goulburn River is just an outstanding fishery because, oh, he, uh, in, in summer, I mean, we're at 38 degrees now, and this water temperature is uh, pretty cool because it's coming out of the bottom of Eildon. And I'll just see if I can get this one in the net. Lovely little fish. So you're getting the, the that nice chilled water from the base of Eildon, which they use for irrigation. We'll just get him in here. Hang on, tiger. Perfect. I've got a lovely little brown there of uh, probably a couple of pound out of this lovely little backwater, taking uh, spent spinners and um, maybe little grasshoppers and things like that, but just in beautiful condition. Just a great fit little fish. I keep him out of the water too long. Beautiful little uh, fun fish that he's got to be caught a lot of times. You don't want to uh, bang that on the head. Plenty of go left in him. That's beautiful. It's a great start to uh, the Goulburn River. Getting down here, we're pretty warm, but it, we've got the uh, the evening that, that wind will die off and hopefully you can get a really good dun hatch or even some caddis and things like that. And uh, yeah, it can really just come alive. The Goulburn's an amazing fishery. You've just got to take your time and really experience it and you'll be surprised at what you can get out of it.